Did Jesus' fulfillment of the law mean that he abolished it, according to Matthew 5 verses 17 to 18? Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. 18. For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. In Matthew 5 verse 17, Jesus clearly says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets, and he further assures in verse 18 that not a single letter, not the smallest stroke of a pen, will disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Yet, some Christians believe that the law has been abolished because Jesus fulfilled it. Is this perspective correct? This view is flawed because we cannot assume that the law has been abolished simply because it was fulfilled. This misinterpretation may even reflect negatively on the character of God. So, what's the difference between destroy and fulfill? To destroy means to put an end to the existence of something by damaging or attacking it, while fulfill means to bring to completion or reality. Here's an illustration. Imagine a glass that is being filled with water. If you stop pouring because the glass is broken or damaged, that's like destroying it. But if you stop because the glass is now full, that represents fulfillment, you're only stopping because it's complete. The point here is that assuming the law was abolished as a result of Jesus fulfilling it implies that there was something wrong with God's law, which distorts its intended meaning. So, what exactly did Jesus fulfill? In Matthew 5 verse 17, he speaks of fulfilling the law and the prophets, referring to the Torah and the prophecies about him. The Torah contains 613 laws, which include moral, judicial, and ceremonial laws. When Jesus died, he confirmed that he had lived a life without breaking any of these laws, thereby fulfilling them perfectly. He also fulfilled the prophecies about himself, such as in Isaiah 53 verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. 